Hello and welcome back to Carmsden Farm. We are in field 23. We are harvesting sorghum for one of the local farmers. So we've got this contract. We have also taken a contract on field 13. So that is running on auto drive and course play. So that is just plodding along in the background. That is for linseed. So that is underway. We'll have a look at that in a little while. Um, but yeah, we've skipped forward some time. Done a few uh, little jobs. We did uh, the two cultivating jobs that were there last time. We've done the uh, silage contract on field seven. It was originally hay, but then I refreshed and it changed to silage, so that's been done. We have... what else have we done? I have managed to improve the score, finally, for the common areas. So let's just take a look at that second. So if we go up to the precision farming menu and just scroll in, you'll see we're now at 65. So what I've done is I have cut this area, the community area, didn't do anything with the grass, um, literally loaded it up and then uh, by the power of uh, the power tools menu just got rid of it, didn't want to uh, cheat all that lot and then we have tilled this area here, so over by the shop, the store and re-sowed that so yeah, it's brought the score up a fair old bit. We're now sitting at 75 overall, so it's good enough for now. Um, we obviously can't do anything with this area here. Could maybe uh, till and re-sow the bottom area, but that's for another time. So let's uh, crack on with the harvesting and uh, yeah, we'll catch up very shortly. So, first uh, load of sorghum has uh, been delivered. I uh, did that myself. And so this is our field of corn. Field 22, the new field. And you can see on the bottom right hand side, the growth stage is at the forage stage. So, we need to get onto that. So, that will be the next job after these harvests. We are going to be very, very busy. Um, the other thing I've realised is the whole point of putting the corn in was to forage it. And at the minute, I've only got the one bunker at the old cow barn to uh, put the chaff in. So we are going to have to put one in at the new barn at some point, probably sooner rather than later. But it uh, shouldn't be too much of an issue once we've collected on these contracts we'll have a bit more money and uh, yeah we can hopefully afford to get the bunker in and get it filled with chaff right so um, we keep getting a notification that the combine on field 13 is always full so the tractor that we've got is not able to keep up so it now seems a good time to uh, send one of our uh, workers to go and help which then leads me on to something that I've done and um, you'll see that the John Deere has changed colour slightly so I'd been wanting to change the John Deere for some time and I was hoping to get another one but then I saw this so this is the Massey Ferguson 8S, so it's the 8740. I think we've got 400 horsepower. Let's just have a look. Yeah, so 400 horsepower, 31 mile an hour gearbox. So that's good, a bit quicker. And I just noticed then... <laughs> now, I haven't got the vehicle sales customizer installed. This is just pure pot luck. That is going to be very very useful so let's have a quick look at that richard weston silage trailer so oh look at the paint look how cool is that so 
Uh, door extension. Does that give us... No. Okay. I quite like that. Hitch. No. But 450 quid. Might as well. Decals. Yeah, we'll have the black ones. I think... Let's just check the tyre options. We'll go for the slightly bigger tyres. And we'll leave it at that. 8,611 quid. Brilliant. Absolute bargain. And could not have come at a better time. So, we need to get the Massey down to field 13. And get that working alongside the contract equipment. And, yeah, hopefully speed up that process of getting that field done. Right then, we've set the vent off to uh, hopefully deliver the last load of sorghum while we finish up in here. There is plenty of space in the combine for this lot. Field 13 contract is progressing slowly, I think is probably the best uh, way to put that. It's a big old field that we want combine. We um, could really do with having our one over there but at the minute we are a bit tied up so we will get this done and um, yeah then collect on the contract I think all right so we've delivered all the sorghum we need to and we've got just over 4,000 litres left so that can be used for uh, feeding the chickens so we can leave that trailer there for now just spin round so in between episodes i have limed and mulched this field you'll see we've got weeds growing no real problem we can maybe spray them before we plant um might not be a bad idea so that's something else to do but for now we'll go and collect the silage trailer and get that back up to the yard and then we will check in on field 13. Back at the yard and uh, took the liberty while we were down there just to repair everything because why not? A bit of OCD with the uh, repair bar and I have just noticed we have a bit of a traffic jam. So what we need to do is we will get into the Massey and we can then bring up the auto drive menu and turn that off and we can move this one out the way because if we know I think we are just going to have to reverse it and we need them to stop there so let's uh, get this out of the way there's a post stop your engine while we move thank you very much right we'll uh, loop this round and we'll probably do a bit of karting for a bit 
Very farmer with your weed infested field. Right, let's head back down to field 13 and uh, see how we're getting on. So I've just had a look in the contract page and we're about 50% through the field. So if we just quickly... Oh, we're on a reason. Oh, well, we're not going to crash. Let's have a look. So we've delivered 162,000 litres, 156,500 to go. And yeah, 53% now. So that's fine. We can collect on field 23 so all good seven grand in plus the, we've got four thousand liters of uh, sorghum so jobs are good in there we are just going to get this done now so what are we at 57 percent let's get that emptied and we'll pull out the way combine go back up again we are going to have did we bail it i know i've got the stroth swath on probably we're going to need the money i reckon so i think that'll be a job off camera and uh yeah let's um while we're here let's just take a look at prices for leasing forage wagons shall we so I misspoke before, it's a forage harvester that we want, not a forage wagon. So just looking at the John Deere here, the 9000 series, it's very nice looking uh, forage harvester. And just spec it how I would want it. I don't think we need to, any sort of plate on it, just on the back, it doesn't really matter, does it, really leasing it. So... Wowzers, 23,893. So then we'll come out of that and go to combinations because we want this one. Oh, do we? So that's seven and a half meters. That's nine. We don't need the support bit. And we don't need the silage additive. So nine meter header. Is going to set us back. I dread to think six thousand. So we're looking at about thirty grand. Okay, that's doable. Needs seven hundred and fifty horsepower. I think the John Deere was seven seventy. So we might need to. Yeah, we'll bump it up to the eight thousand. 8,700 horsepower. <laughs> That'd be uh, pretty impressive. No, the 870, that 870 horsepower um, when we come to lease it. But for now, at least we know the costs and we are covered from that. Need to uh, get back on and get the harvesting done. So just uh, take it a minute to uh, have a look at a bunker silos. Uh, so think well we can go for the 10 grand one which is you know a lot cheaper than the 61 and would probably benefit us more financially at this point in time so i think there is probably good maybe here don't know somewhere around here and then we've got all the product we need we won't need the silage for a while because obviously we've got a fair bit in the barn there so let's move it this way a bit so we can get round every side leave plenty of space to turn in and we'll go with it cool right let's uh hop out and leg it over here super speed there we go so a little bit of uh painting required but that is going to do us absolutely brilliantly for uh when we start uh, chopping the corn. While we uh, wait for the combine to need uh, unloading again, I just wanted to show you something else that we bought. And it's this uh, front weight. I think they call it a safety weight. But um, yeah, I've just noticed this as well, look. It's got a little toolbox and a vice inside. Now, that would be really cool if, and I bet we can't, if you could, um, 
pick that up and take it out of the box or you know or choose have an option to get rid of that and maybe put a mobile one in but yeah I like the detail it's very fancy will stop us uh, damaging the tractor hopefully so let's get that closed up and uh, let's take a look what the combines doing uh, it's just about to turn around so quick check on the progress of the contract 76% complete we need to deliver another 114,500 that 500 is important um, yeah we're getting there slowly I think uh, doing something like this manually so to speak without auto driving course play would uh, take forever but luckily we have that all set up so we can unload the combine now and we will uh, catch back when it's all complete I think right contract complete we've uh, unloaded the combine and we've sent the worker off to go and deliver that because I think it's only uh, 10,000 ish litres so we could do with that little bit of extra income for now we are going to drop the header trailer drop the header trailer drop the header on the trailer and then we can uh, get the big fent over here with the baler on the course that the combine did and then that can be plodding away whilst we go and pick up the uh, forage harvester we need to lease it and the header and we can also get the Massey to pick up the new silage trailer so plenty to do in fact we'll just leave that there is the trigger for the header trailer just so the farmer hasn't got to do it no is it not going to pick it up come on i'm sure he'll manage right we'll leave that there and uh let's go and uh, head down to the store okay so We've got the uh, porridge harvester, the John Deere that we looked at earlier. We've got our new Massey and our new Silas trailer. We've got Follow Me on. So we just need to sort of cut into the field a bit. So let's turn everything on and uh, see how we get on. going to take a little bit of uh, manoeuvring I think just to uh, get the field opened up hopefully the massy comes in behind us and then we can hold oh, on no it's stuck right we'll get that freed and we'll crack on <laughs> well we are full already we haven't even made it around the headland once yet but let's uh, get on to the right implement that might help and we need control I and let's get this unloaded thirty something thousand litres a time back up a little bit right Let's, uh, while that's dropping down, we will head back down to the field and uh, carry on with the foraging.
Well, if uh, <laughs> this trailer didn't need a paint job before, it will do now. We are just trying to get absolutely everything into the corners and just get stuck on uh, what seems to be an invisible collision, but whatevs. Uh, we are up to 260,000. There's a fair old bit that just keeps dropping out the uh, front and back of the pit. But not much we can do about that. We'll uh, tidy it up later on. But for now, I'm just going to keep going over and over again to try and compact as we go along without smashing into the lovely stack of silage bales and hay bales we've got there. I think at this rate we are going to have to put in another pit but that's nothing too uh, financially taxing it's only 10 grand wasn't it so right that'll do for now we'll uh, head back to the field and uh, carrying on getting this uh, corn chopped up and uh, foraged right so we're plodding on I've uh, bit the bullet and built another bunker because there is no way we are going to get all of that into the one bunker. Bizarrely, uh, I was looking for the bu our bucket for the front loader, telehandler, and it's disappeared. don't think I sold it, but hey, may well have done, don't know. Um, so I've been and bought a new one. And that is now on its way to the new cow barn. So we can at least try and tidy up the pits a bit after we are done. But hopefully... Come on, move forward a bit. There we go. Oh, come on. Don't make me use my new safety weight bumper. Um, but yeah, so hopefully we'll get everything in. We'll get it all tidied up shouldn't be too much of an issue the vent that I'm seeing that pop up was just reminding me has completed the bailing so that's something else we need to do but that should bring in a fair amount of money which is going to get rid of those bales um, we will have enough straw off this field of linseed here and yeah so that is the plan still is to uh, just bale this field and deliver it up to the barns here so I think this can go into the new pit or newer pit should I say neither of them, neither of them are old um, if I sound a bit flustered it's because it is boiling here this afternoon it is uh, a wacky 20 degrees which doesn't sound a lot but it's very muggy and there's windows shut because I'm recording so the things I put myself through but hey never mind I'm sure I will cope right with that reasonably neatly tipped I'll just uh, flatten it off a touch there we go super right we'll uh, head back down to the worker in the John Deere and uh, yeah, continue with the foraging.
I have to say that this Mathy is epic and I'm not sure why it displays it as 31 mile an hour because top speed is 36 so it's only 3 miles an hour less than the vent it's yeah turning circle is spot on I'm not sure what the word keeps uh, spouting out there but yeah I love it really really happy with the purchase we dropped on with the Richard Western trailer in the sale so yeah happy money is looking precariously low um, we do have another field of corn to chop so we are going to be in need of money we've got the income that's going to come from the straw once my straw is collected I can collect on my contract so that's going to bring us some cash in but yeah the uh, leasing fees are absolutely ridiculous and I'm sure that if we paid a contractor to do it and we carted it ourselves it wouldn't be 20, 30 grand for machinery now would it? So hmm, something for maybe giants to look at in the future I know it's just a percentage of the uh, vehicles you know cost purchase cost but still there's got to be some form of uh, modification that you can do to say right it can be one percent of that cost rather than ten so anyway bit of a rant but, uh, but yeah loving it it's taken us about two minutes ish to fill a trailer load so once we can get the worker to pick up the trailer hold on get this filled, get it dumped, hopefully we won't be too much longer on this field. Okay, so the field is finished. We have compacted that silo down to 100%, but we just uh, turned the engine off and uh, jumped back out. You'll see that we've got loads of spillage on both, and this one really needs tidying up. So I'm going to grab the telehandler, get these tidied up and I'll, uh, I'll see you in a few minutes. Right then, first pit is all compacted down, so we can cover that one. We can then get stuck in that blanket and uh, have to tab back to uh, the vehicle. Right, so that's another 246,000 litres uh, compacted down. So we had 299 in that one, 246 in this one, so 545,000 litres ish so we can blanket that lovely how we done at the ends not bad it's always a bit of a challenge trying to keep everything in and that's not too shabby either bit of painting needs uh, doing down there so we can sort that but yeah another cracking job so with that I'm going to uh, get this out of the way and uh, go and pick up some bales and I will catch you in the next one thank you very 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 much for watching if you've enjoyed the episode give us a like if you haven't already subscribe to the channel thank you to all those that have and I will see you in the next one take care